divide and rule. This has been the policy of Justin Trudeau for the past nine years. So he's focusing on the rich people and the middle class and the hardworking people. So these are the main contributors of the welfare of Canada or for any other country for that sake. So he wants all the rich people to become a middle class and all the middle class to be to become poor and eventually in due time even the rich people will be poor by making all canadians poor he can dictate and conquer canada and canadians this is his motto and i'm going to give you a very good example of how is he is manipulating canada with this uh, um, demonic and satanic ideas i am very sure that these ideas are you know properly planned and executed by a group of people probably he is hiring someone for getting ideas like this in the background and um, those people are the real smart people they really know how to manipulate um, we can literally call them scammers or you know hackers so these people they are like very dangerous they are like predator uh, predators they have a, um, a kind of mind where you know you cannot predict what type of people they are so looks like he is already hiring those people and you know cherry picking um, there are everyone right they are engineers hardware engineers you know technical guys and auditors and um, there are people exclusively to give ideas like this to the politicians so when trudeau comes out with this plan right renters and landlords bill of rights for renters so he's literally gaslighting both renters and landlords so i'm going to give you a very small example of how he is manipulating the renters and the landlords this is a story about uh, two cats fighting for cheese and a monkey as a mediator uh, some of you might have heard of this story the two cats are fighting for one block of cheese. The monkey sees this and, you know, comes and talks to the two cats and says, Hey, uh, guys, why do you fight for one big cheese? You know, I am here to mediate. Don't fight for uh, the cheese. I'll make sure that both get an equal half of the cheese so that both of you can be happy and then the monkey slices the cheese one block of cheese one small another one bigger then monkey says oh my god one size is bigger let me eat a little bit and make this equal and then he starts eating little by little both the pieces until all both the pieces or uh, it's just gone into the monkey's stomach right and the cats are like, you know, they are totally shocked and uh, disappointed. And uh, they are like, you know, they lost everything, right? Uh, there's no cheese for the cats. And uh, the monkey says, oh, I tried my best, but I can't help it. You know, this is how it works. And this is how the world works. And this is a very good example. I'm comparing the monkey with Justin Trudeau and the two cats as renters and landlords here but you know generally i would say one cat will be considered as a ca all the canadians and the monkey is con you know compared to justin trudeau so that's what is happening right now in canada so let me explain how renters and landlords are fighting each other thinking that there are all the tenants or you know the renters are bad renters uh, while the 
you know, the tenants are thinking all the landlords are bad landlords. So, you know, I will give you a simple example. For the past 25 years, I've been a tenant and I've been a renter. And um, in my experience, you know, I have moved uh, to so many uh, places, like more than 16, um, uh, you know, homes. So in my experience, I just came across just two or three, maybe three landlords. I wouldn't say that they are bad landlords, but one of them was really bad. My last landlord I lived, she was really bad. You know, she almost tried to take off, uh, take the deposit because, you know, I just moved from another country and I asked for the deposit and he said he cannot give the deposit. And then I threatened him. I told him this is not the right way. If you are not doing it, I'll make sure that police will take action on him if the deposit deposit is not returned full. So I don't know. He, the guy just returned all the money after like three months. So let's keep this in mind. United we stand, divided we fall. There are bad apples everywhere. You know, sometimes there is a good. Um, you know, renter and a bad landlord and sometimes the bad landlord, you know, faces a good renter, you know, it's uh, vice versa. It all depends on, you know, the situation. When uh, Justin Trudeau is uh, proposing, he is proposing to pass a bill on renters uh, side, uh, projecting, you know, like as if all the landlords are fraudulent people and they are like, you know, um, taking advantage of all the renters, uh, charging too much of rent and they are like multi-millionaires but that is not the story. As a landlord, when he goes for a mortgage to a bank to purchase a house, the first thing the mortgage uh, bank people uh, ask is, um, is your house uh, or a, you know like a condo or an apartment, does it have any extra basement? where it can be considered as a uh, helper, mortgage helper, so that one part of the house can be rented and that money can be uh, given to the mortgage and it is called a mortgage helper. So bank itself here in Canada encourages um, buyers to have a mortgage helper, like a basement or a first floor or second floor where they can rent to tenants and with that money they can uh, you know, take care of the mortgage. So when landlord buys that property and lend, lend or rents the basement for the tenants, you know what the tenants ask? Most of the tenants think, oh, if you are not capable of buying a house without a mortgage helper, why the hell do you buy a house? And, you know, like you are putting the burden on the tenants. This is what you know, the tenants ask, but that is not the thing, you know, 90% of the Canadians go for a basement uh, mortgage helper. So all the first, uh, the uh, tenants, you know, the renters complain is why all the landlords are charging so much of rent uh, within a period of one, two, three years, the rent has gone up from $1,000 to $1,500, now it's like 2500 Why the landlords are so greedy uh, increasing the rent. There are some bad landlords who, you know, they have only, uh, they are investors. They have like 20, 30, 40, you know, apartments and they do investment uh, on uh, apartments and uh, they literally keep raising the rents. I'm not talking about them, but most of the majority of the landlords, they are like, you know, they have, they are bound to increase the rent, um, not uh, because of, uh, um, of greediness, but because of the interest rates you know the interest bank interest rates went uh, f f uh, like they increased their rent uh, interest uh, 11 times in 2021 you can imagine from uh, one person less than one person they increased it to like 7.5 percent to 8.5 percent which is huge money interest for all the mortgage uh, people 
uh, landlords. So say for instance, they are paying like $1,000 as interest. Right now, they'll be paying interest like $7,000, $8,000. So where is the money for them to uh, pay the mortgage? They have to increase the rent, you know. So some, so most of the landlords, they are trying to increase the rent by, uh, say for instance, if it is $1,000, like $1,400 or $500 or $600, which is very fair, you know. So when that money is, uh, you know, a burden for all the renters the renter renters they become really angry and they say all the landlords are bad you know this is how you know justin trudeau plays his game he literally you know he uh, 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 increases the rent um, by increasing the interest rates putting the burden on the landlords whereas you know the landlords are they are bound to increase the rent and uh, the renters are you know uh, in turn they are angry with the landlords but this has not got nothing to do with the landlords and i would say even the renters is playing big games with the renters by giving them uh, rebate checks you know whatever rebate checks the renters get right you, you won't believe right now all the renters are happy getting 300 400 500 dollars dollars rebates from Justin Trudeau but they don't know they are getting 300 400 500 dollars check from Justin Trudeau but indirectly they are paying taxes like 4000 5000 dollars maybe 7000 dollars yearly you know what tax carbon tax right <laughs> and all the other taxes capital gains you know all the cra there right now cra is really focused on you know hunting down all the people who are you know m missing even 10 15 20 dollars can you imagine so it's literally cra is going after everyone doesn't matter it's not only rich people every even a common man right they are seeing any loopholes so this is called Trudeauism. So there is a new word in the Webster's Dictionary. Uh, it's called Trudeauism. It's like, you know, the new meaning for Trudeauism is gaslighting. You know, if you ask any uh, Trudeau any question, he will not answer the question straightforward. He will just beat about the beach. He will say, oh, you did that and you didn't uh, properly react for that uh, situation. And uh, this has been going on really bad. And I uh, took really good, uh, uh, you know, measures to counter this. And uh, you have been, you know, if you, if someone ask him why this carbon tax or why this uh, decriminalization law in British Columbia, he will say, oh, um, uh, the, you should not have supported the white supremacist. Um, you know, um, that is the reason why, uh, you know, you're uh, um, considered as a, um, you know, anti-Canadian and this is what he reacts. So this is something, you know, Trudeau uh, does all the time um, in the parliament, in the House of Commons. And um, this guy, you know, literally he's taking advantage of all the weaknesses of all the Canadians. So these renters and landlords, you know, this he simply divided them now right now he is sucking the money out uh, from both renters and landlords so this is the same with with welders and you know like uh, engineers and all the investors and the small business owners all the doctors now he is uh, going to charge more money for the capital gains right he, uh, the capital gains is now 67.7 percent earlier it was a uh, 51 percent so he has again uh, set his foot on the doctors so he literally he is going for all the professionals you know in canada and uh, like in uh, next i don't know what he's going to go do but he has his own you know way of uh, going after all the hard-working canadians so this is just an awareness for you people i'm just uh, letting you know the uh, tricks and uh, all the games by justin trudeau and please spread this message. People have to be really aware. And 18 more months of this guy, I don't know where it's going to go. Right now, you see the fuel gas prices in British Columbia is $2.20 for a standard gasoline. You can imagine the cost of living. Everything is going above the roof. Even, a, you know, people are really struggling to put food on the table. This is a very important concern. Um, the su uh, suicide, you know, rate is going up and uh, the drugs, you know, death in British Columbia is like six per day. You can and imagine. 2,500 people die every year in British Columbia because of this new 
uh, decriminalization de uh, law passed by uh, Justin Trudeau and NDP government. And uh, this is uh, not good for British Columbia and Canada. And uh, with this mad man, uh, Justin Trudeau, as a prime minister in charge of Canada, um, I don't know where it will go in the next 18 months. All we can do is just pray to the Lord, whichever Lord, Jesus Christ or, you know, um, Muhammad, uh, Allah or the Hindu gods or all the other religions, uh, people just pray that this guy should get out of Canada ASAP. It's really going to be good for the Canadians. That's what we can do right now. And um, if you agree with all the information I have shared with you guys, please uh, give your comments and uh, share this video so that it can be spread as a you know a communal uh, you know betterment information uh, for everyone. I hope the, uh, the videos I am sharing is really uh, useful and informative to all the Canadians. So thank you so much for watching and um, keep watching. There are more videos. Uh, I'm not going to rest until this guy is removed, until uh, we get a good, you know, leader for Canada. So there are some bad things about conservative leader uh, Pierre Polivre as well, but we can deal with that later. He's not a big threat compared to this guy because the first first uh, important thing is uh, this devil we have to get rid of this devil and um, yeah so let's hope for the best thanks for watching